Yo, what up? It's your boy, Black Gritty, and uh, I got a special guest, so be say what's up to the people, Rios. What's going on, hard charges? How y'all doing? Y'all already know what time it is. Rios, a.k.a. the Sergeant Major Philly, the Sergeant Major motherfucking WIP afternoon show, Ikes and Reese. Y'all already know what time it is. Me and my man, Black Gritty, Grit Grit up in this piece, you know what I mean? So, uh, two things. One, I forgot to start off my show, because certain times I say, this is an FYIA podcast. And FYIA means fuck you in advance. So just know that we're going to be getting down, talking the real talk, the way we be and how it is. So if you got a problem with a little colorful language, then this might not be the episode for you. But, um, hey, and- I, I, hey, great. I'm glad you just said that, too. So let me say this, because I know this is your platform right here. But I, since you said that, then let me go ahead and say this. If you can't take what the fuck we say, then certain shit certain sports don't take your kids to dance sports events certain shit ain't meant for you you know because what you're gonna get right here is two philadelphians a military cat is straight truth straight raw straight like that yeah you know i mean you can't you don't like the truth then you just want people who are yes men we ain't no yes men over here you know what i mean yeah one of the girls i hang out with she's like i love to go she's from chicago she's like i'd love to go to a bears game in philadelphia i was like you don't want to do that i was like i fly out to chicago you don't want to come out here we we don't play out here i i, I don't even want to really be sitting next to you in no bears jersey out here to be honest right i go i wear my eagle stuff any city coast to coast key west to Largo, but i really i i Honestly, I don't even want you. I don't even want to be sitting with you. I don't. I don't want to have the affiliation that I. I ain't got Philly love around me. You know what I mean, she's like y'all are crazy. I'm like, it's real out here in the field. Like we are not playing at all. So um, the game yeah, last yeah. night. Uh, I mean, it is my platform. I'm gonna let you go first though, because I know we we chopped up for a minute. I hopped in you live. Appreciate you. Uh, let me hide in real quick. But it, it was a rough game yesterday. You know, no preseason for the starters. Or for the coordinators, and uh, we got the win. That's all that matters in the end of the day. But uh, they got a lot of stuff to clean up and, and look at on tape with a one to two day turnaround. Right, right, right. What stood uh, out to you the most yesterday? Well, well, number one, definitely, yeah, we got the win. At the same time, we got the win when we was like pretty much trying to hand the fucking shit away yesterday. You know what I'm saying? But we got the W, so I'm grateful for that. But the, the 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 stuff that stand out is definitely all right. I was already expecting, I was already expecting certain things with with the players, Jalen Hurts with Russ. All right, I was expecting that no preseason. You know, you had Aaron Rodgers who played a preseason game or some. Same thing with Patrick Mahomes. But I was expecting Russ. But come on, man, with the damn coaching and play calling. Hold on, man. Like no, ain't no Russ in that. There's situational football. They seen the shit that was going on out there. We up 16-0. It felt like almost to a point back in the day when that I used to get mad with Andy Reid where it's like we could be up anything, three points, five points. Okay, want to settle down. Hell no, settle down. Like I told you yesterday, put these asses in the chokehold. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to have this team straight make – themselves known through the whole league like look we coming we ain't playing just know that when we playing we're gonna run up the score we're gonna do what we got to do to win this game securely hey they played right into bill belichick's hands and, and, and great you know bill belichick with his defense but played right into the hands to keep it close which gave new england patriots the highest percentage to get close to try to get that damn w but with the damn play calling, and it's all around from the offensive coordinator, from the defensive coordinator, and the head coach is the one that's in charge. That damn fourth down play went for that uh, fourth down instead of punt it. Like, what the hell are you freaking doing? Like, right at that, and, t- and, and we up. And just to pause you on that, real quick. So, neither one of us are, 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 are any kind of fan. When they go for fourth and two, whatever, and they get it, everybody's like, oh, yeah, I would have done it. But at that point, this is one of those few times where you're like, bro, y'all ain't been doing shit the whole second half. Why are you going to give them the ball when they've been moving it up and down the field on you to, if nothing else, give them a chance for a field goal with so much time left and you ain't, ain't got but one time out left and they got all three. So then if you fold yeah. again and then they can go get another field goal, you can lose the game. That's where I'm like, why are you doing this on fourth down? It wasn't needed. Yeah. And, and normally, yeah, I mean, I let it slide because, you know, we're on their side of the ball. It's late. We've been dominant. But in a struggling game with with on and off rain, what what were you thinking? What was he thinking? The, I think that the 
I hate to say it because, you know, we went to a Super Bowl last year, but I think that sometimes Nick gets that fear in his heart from a, a juggernaut mindset. Like, oh, you're looking at Bill Belichick. You're looking at Andy Reid. And then, oh, I got to try to outsmart them. You're not going to outsmart them. You got to do what you do right. and stick to your guns. They are weathered veterans. They've seen it all. And even they make mistakes. But you can't acquiesce and be scared of them. I hate the Dallas Cowboys. The only thing I'll give them is they're some front-running son of bitches because when they get up by 20, they go up 40 to nothing. They put 55 on us for no fucking reason because they're assholes. I like that. Put your foot on their throat and go get these points because last year our, our saving grace was second quarter. This year our second quarter was terrible. But like you said, I feel like we're like, ah, oh, we're up 60 nothing. We got that interception run back. It's cool. It's cool. And everybody kind of relax. And the next thing you know, you got Mac Jones looking like Tom Brady. A wide open over the middle. What are we? That was killing me right there. You telling me you slicing us with fucking Mac Jones. Let me tell you this. I get your point with the Cowboys. We ain't giving them no motherfuckers. No, I know. I know. I'm just talking about the points. Yeah. Fuck the motherfuckers. But I get that all day. Can't stand them motherfuckers. But like you, 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 we getting sliced. First of all, on your point on Sirianni, what he think? I'm thinking like, yo, do you still be thinking about maybe? Because Doug, you lost the Super Bowl. Doug Peterson won the Super Bowl. Doug Peterson had balls a lot. I mean, to me, Doug Peterson changed the lead during that time because nobody was really doing fourth downs like that the whole until Doug Peterson yep. started doing it. So that's one thing I think on it. And then number two, like, I'm thinking like yesterday, you're over fucking thinking. He didn't know what to do to the point where it's like, all right, let me just go for it. What, the, what, what was it? Fourth and five or whatever the hell it was. But like yeah. you said, we had nothing going on right there. That wasn't needed. It wasn't like the damn four from one. Okay, Jalen Hurst squats 600 pounds. Let him damn run, you know, uh, push him through the damn hole and get the first down, which was going to be easy. No, it wasn't that quarterback sneak. But we had, we at least had something to think on as of in defense. I'm like, okay, we stopping a run. The, across the middle, our pass defense, when it comes from the linebackers all the way to the back in the secondary, like, I don't know. What the hell they were doing? But to me, I'm looking at the defensive coordinator wasn't putting them young men in positions to make their damn plays. They were just out of position. It was like they were just lollygagging. They were just put anywhere and had to figure out for themselves. No, this goes on in freaking training. Why the hell Bill Belichick, what the hell he was doing? I mean, shit. He yes. obviously was watching tape. He did some shit. They were saying it on TV. Damn, he had all the front, front eight. Or six blitz while the yeah. back end just played a zone. Uncovered wow. blitzes, delayed blitzes. Again, you got to bring. He was bringing pressure. And the only credit I give the D coordinator is the the last two drives. He finally started bringing in blitz uh, 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 or pressure with an extra man. And even though they still didn't get there all the time, it made Mac Jones think. And again, it's Mac Jones. My problem when people try to say, Jones, "Oh, yes. the defense, look whatever," I'm like, "But you let Mac Jones look like he was something." I know that the guy sucks because he was missing. He was missing wide open passes too. He was and throwing dudes short and flat. Because, and they gave him confidence. And I'm like, okay, so uh, I'll say one more negative thing, then we'll, we'll talk about some of the positives, and then we'll get back around to the negatives. There's a lot of bad. Uh, bad. The As a head coach, I went out and got Swift and Penny. I realize you deactivated Penny before the game for whatever reason, but to not notice that Swift hasn't gotten a run in the game and he's only been out there for two swing passes. Now, again, Nick then gave up play call, and he don't call no plays. Bitch, you can see the game, right? Stop running around with this little towel on your shoulder, whipping people on their butt when they get a tackle. That's your job. Stop yeah. whipping them on the attaboys and say, hey, how come Gainwell's the only one running the ball and ain't nobody else had a chance to run the ball yet? Like, you you got eyes, right, bro? You you got – how did you not I, – I, we I can't have another game with, with Swift only having two touches. You shouldn't have had one game in his career here healthy with one game with two <laughs> he touches. Was not one game. So he was I'm talking like, out his ass, man. He was talking out his ass. It was obvious. Grit. That man was talking out his ass in that press conference, wondering, well, damn, I don't like it when uh, Swift should uh, didn't get the ball, whatever. It was obvious to That's everybody. I'm looking like you ain't run. I'm like, hold on. And he talked about him and Boston Scott. I'm like, damn, you didn't run Swift at all? I'm like, what, what the freak is going on? And you're the damn coach. You're seeing it. You're the head coach. You're in charge. It's what you say. What, what these guys do, at the end of the day, you are the tower. Everything you do, they take commands from the tower. So what the hell you damn doing? So we had to watch that freaking shit show 
at the end and then like damn it got to a point like what what was the most positive shit in the game like damn well jake elliott damn he'll miss a damn five yard kick but damn he'll hit a damn 50 60 yarder with no freaking fucking problem so i'm like I- i'm happy you know jake elliott was doing this thing it, shit even with jelly hurts let's say this right on the past game right rarely the calls wasn't really trying to go downfield last year we was doing things downfield Jalen Hurts passed the certain passes that, okay, of course, he didn't see one with da- Dallas Goddard and certain passes, but he missed Dallas Goddard he, twice wide yeah. open. The the one he threw the the Smith for the touchdown, that was a nice, sharp ass throw. The bomb that he threw to AJ Brown that they called back, that was nice ass throw. You wait until what to start throwing downfield because at the end of the day, it seemed like what was it just dinking and dunking? Little, it wasn't even going longer than 15 yards. And it wasn't that even, wasn't us. And it wasn't even good dinking and dunking because where the fuck are the tight ends? Like, if you're going dink and dunk, I, I get it. Smith had a baby, and you want to get him some receptions because he's a new daddy. Like, I, there's other players on the oh, field, I bro. I know that. There's, yeah, he had he had a, a congratulations to you, Smith. He had, he had a daughter Friday. You know what I mean? Congratulations. That's why he rocked the baby when he got the touchdown. But I'm like, just because he had a baby don't mean he gets 90% of the targets and my tight ends don't get one throw and A.J. Brown gets one or two sprinkled in every year now and then. I'm like, bro, you're locked in. And I don't know if that's the play calling or what, but again, I know Jalen did miss some stuff that was wide open, but I'm like, feed the tight end. Play, spread the ball around. That's when we do our best. Spread the ball around. And inclement weather, I give a shit about that because again, yep. I saw speak. trash Mac Jones sprinkling all over the place. He, had, he, 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 I think he had all our tight ends. He was throwing us to these big 85, 86 dudes right. all over the field and all over the middle on us. Um, again, I did say and, I want to. I want to throw no, some positive in you, there. You, we, you, 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 you were right on. Yes, you said you don't know. It, it is the play call because think about this. Us as fans, we see the shit obvious. So you see the shit obvious. That shit should turn your head and look at the coaches like, look, we need to put some place for Dallas Goddard or whatever or whoever they want. It was freaking obvious. You're not mediocre. You're in the league now. You went to the freaking Super Bowl. One thing, and one thing when we went to Super Bowl, when Nick Sirianni, sometimes some people were talking about when he was crying. But, bro, when I seen that in the beginning, he was crying to me. At, the, at That hyped me up. I'm thinking like, yo, we're going to fucking kick their asses. Yeah. Yo, I need... This is all this is what I need from matter of fact from Nick because he seemed to be it seemed like how how they were saying how Hertz is the mature one and he's not he, he's I need the, he's Nick the, to have Nick Foles eyes that was in an NFC championship in Super Bowl when we not fucking playing. Let's do this shit the right freaking way. How he talked in them damn uh at the Nova Care Center to them guys, show that shit on the field. It ain't time to smile, it ain't time to play when we damn almost going to lose to the freaking New England Patriots week one, and we're the damn NFC conference champions. Come on, man. So I want to get to the positive, but, and I also want to say talk is cheap. Nick, this is, again, why people didn't want to put him in the top echelon of coaches, even though he went to the Super Bowl. He is a, a hothead, emotional uh, a character who sometimes can't reel it in, and, and he needs to fucking mature because Jalen Hurst is the mature one on that team. Uh, more so than the coach, which can be good and can be bad. And yesterday was bad. Now let me get something positive. Okay. Uh, Big Baby Davis, he's going to be all right. He got that sack. He was busting up the line, putting in pressure. There's nothing a, a defensive line can do. This is why I hate fans. That, uh, did. I was like, are you watching the game? Because they are destroying their offensive line. He's literally taking three-step drop, throw the ball. Whether it's caught or not, he, the ball is out. So you're not going to get there, but those pressures matter. And if you're watching the game, Big Baby Davis went through, and Carter, they call him Baby Rhino. That's a fucking grown-ass Rhino, bro. He ain't nobody's baby. That that dude, you better get rid of the ball in three seconds because he's there. He was, he was standing right next to Mac Jones repeatedly over and over and over again when he was in the game. And, you know, then you had later on you brought in that veteran Cox for those four plays in a row because they brought up Cox like he hadn't been playing the whole game. But – you know when it comes time, it's just like when Brandon Graham turns on at the end. When time comes, they 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 feast on that. And again, the coach finally said, "Hey, you know what? Let's bring that extra man." Yeah, you know I mean, let let let's get let let let's give Cox a little bit more help because then Cox could double dip on the dude and do something. The front four so good, he didn't want to bring pressure. But if the front four so good, bring pressure every once in a blue moon and, and make something happen. That's the thing I hate so much because you know how it is because we we're radio guys. 
Look, everybody thinks they want to blitz with Jim Johnson. Yo, bro, I'm not asking not, for all not, out yeah, blitz. Yeah, I'm not exactly. asking for a blitz screen. Not all day. I'm, I'm asking for occasional strategic pressure when you have a D-line that can generate its own pressure. Why not give him some help and throw him a bone every once in a while, especially with a mediocre quarterback to make them rush and make mistakes? Well, Why don't we do ask that? for? You ask it for pretty much is situational football. It's a situation at any time. Think about this. Let me tell you something. We got Slay. We got Bradbury. Highly talked about D-backs. Let them earn their money. You can't keep them on an island for a little bit and go ahead and rush. That was Mac Jones. You yeah. do need the dead pressure. Yes, our front four was doing well. Look, you, you called it right, man. Jordan Davis, man, that guy, Oof. that guy is in shape. That guy yes. was – they couldn't run up the middle for crap. Then no. Jalen Carter, I just kept seeing him back there somehow bullying. He's going to get the sacks. Like they, They're coming. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna kill it up. Um, so so both of them, the front four, the line. I mean, I seen damn um uh 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 Reddick. I seen Hassan Reddick get there. At he was points. he so was we, right we there gonna every time too. Slightly. So we're gonna get there with that. But yo, if you send the blitz, then obviously somebody's gonna be running freely. Not because it's just an extra man. It's because they like damn. They can't really hold the front the way the front was like that. And the New England Patriots, they did their best with that. Like shit. Send a blitz. Put yo. Set your mark right away. If you rattle that quarterback right away, now you got him overthinking shit. Especially yes. a Matt fucking Jones. We ain't talking about you did it to Aaron Rodgers right. or whatever. Yeah. We talking about Matt freaking Jones. That game should have been damn over just like that damn Sunday night football game that happened last night. That should have been like that. And so um, the other point I'll say is something that you'll like. Uh, I, cause I'd be stealing your stuff sometimes when I hear these streets. I'd be like, yo, I like violence and I promote it. I like Blankenship a lot. I know people hate on him. I don't know if it's cause he's white, but people hate on him. I like him. He came in I off of injury pr produced and showed himself. I like him as a number two. He's not a number one safety. Put I Sidney Brown in the goddamn game. I don't, maybe it's cause I only saw him in preseason, but he's hungry. He is fast. And he is violent. I like violence, not promote reels. That dude will hurt somebody. The, the fact that he doesn't get one snap and he's only playing on special teams and he's making all the hits on special teams. By the way, we'll get to that too. Special teams are still trash. Okay, other than Jake, I love how Jake Elliott saves the special teams conversation because he could kick from 98,000 miles away. But right. put Sidney Brown in the game. I know he's young. I know he's raw. I don't you, care. You know what impressed find me about packages him yesterday? for him for a blitz. Find packages for him to cover that center so he can blow some of these motherfucking plays up. Guess what impressed me about him yesterday? Is it was one play, not not the play that he smashed the ball on, on the special teams. If you watch all the special teams play, when you see him, he was like the first one down there. And then even though the play was dead, you know what he kept doing? He ran from ends from he ran from whatever and he ran to the end zone. So he just kept running. No matter if the play was gone, he kept running. I'm like, yo, this dude obviously want to do something. And definitely, yes. Heart, I bro. Wanna, Heart. He I, wants it. I want to see him with that violence because at the end of the day, like, it was almost like when the Patriots blitz uh, that rookie, Gonzalez, and he sacked Hurts. Well, shoot. Whenever they put this guy, Cindy Brown, in, oh, my God. Now, mind you, don't the things that I worry about these safeties is, is, is coverage right now. And Trust me, the nut ass freaking Vikings are are see, seeing what happened yesterday with that damn middle and Justin shit Jefferson's like going two hundred yards. Justin well, Jefferson's going two hundred yards from what I saw, and and, and that's, that's what I think following. about. And and uh, somebody, you know, I mean, you know, when you text the people, whatever, I'm like putting it around. And it's like, see, this is why you being a fan and, and, and thinking you know stuff. It was like. Okay, how much worse can he be than what's already out there? Because they're already getting wide open over the middle. So you, so you mean to tell me what? Sidney Brown can't let him get th two touchdowns wide open over the middle? I, I, I know the one thing. When he goes to tackle somebody, there might be a fumble because when he hits you, he ain't playing. When he hits you, he ain't playing. But we missed so think. many tackles yesterday. Again, rust and all the things you said earlier, I fully understand that. We, we're not playing in the preseason. I get all the rust stuff. But my goodness, let the young lion eat. He was out there. He wanted it. Uh, you know, to, uh, I watch Hard Knocks, and what? And I guess their kicker does that. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is like, watch the kick, watch the kicker. He sprints all the way through on every kick. He runs end zone to end zone, and he's like, "Well, why do you do that?" And he's like, "Yep, yeah, I might have to chase somebody down." Mindset. Get get yourself into putting in the effort. 
even though you ain't got to do it. Run and That's and because hey, I might kick it. somebody, I might kick off a dude running back on me. So I, yeah, I'm a sprint down the sideline every time because you know I mean I'm a kicker. I, ain't, I mean athlete like that, whatever. But again, his heart and his and mind, I'm doing the, the right heart thing. And the mindset, he's like, I'm sure he's thinking like, hey. I'm not getting much in the game anyway. So you know what? This is still a game and part of practice. Let me get myself up. Let me get myself worn to freak up. That man deserves something. So at yes. the end of the day, look, the thing with him, look, the thing with him, as long as it's legal, but you know how this sucker ass league is right now. <laughs> but but the whole thing of if you send extra men to, to get the quarterback or a guy like Cindy Brown to hit receivers is to make them fucking think every time. That's what Dan Brian Dawkins did. Every time people knew Brian Dawkins was there, they made them think. Think, think so much that either they dropped the pass or something's going to happen or they didn't get that many yards because all they wanted to do was brace themselves after they caught yes, the freaking ball. because they know they're getting hit. They yeah, know yeah, they're we getting want, hit. We want to, look, it's about, look, man, it's about decapitating. Decapitate these motherfuckers. They catch that ball and then they're going to get that damn work. That's what needs to freaking happen. That's what damn Sean Desai, as he talked in his first press conference, like, look, man, you sound like you was a little hard in your first press conference. Man, put in these guys like, look, man, I would I would love to be in a locker room and, and, and tell some freaking stories because, man, I had these guys walk out there like, damn, like this is a game. I'm giving up the fucking body. You getting paid? You doing something that you love and you want to set a freaking legacy and definitely what we about to have that damn Thursday night game in Philadelphia where you better set the tone, especially against these Minnesota Vikings, because before these damn 49ers were the crybabies, the Minnesota was the crybabies yeah. for us beating them. And then we taking Minnesota as our freaking home where we got the damn chip. Yep. So I, I love the fact that they were resilient enough to win the game, especially with Jalen having – uh, one of his uh, statistically, apparently looking it up, it's his second worst game, but visually it looked like his worst game. Uh, at the same time, uh, I said earlier, I did a little recap. Bill Belichick is Bill Belichick and he's a cheating piece of shit. And I fucking hate him. And thank God we ruined Brady day, but he is an off. He is a defensive guru. He does know how to uh, uh, bring exotic packages together and things like that. And most of the league is not going to be able to duplicate that with mindset or personnel. So the 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 line did what they're supposed to do. They protected Jalen as much as they could against someone who is a savant at, at calling plays like that. So get back on track, focus up. I don't even care. Neither this is how crazy it is. Neither one of us have been talking for 22 minutes. Neither one of us said about all the penalties they got. You know why? Because we understand it's the first game you're going to have penalties. I give a shit about that. Overcome them. That happens all the time. You know I mean, miscues here and there. You know I mean, misjudgment by the ref. Anyway, we yeah, doing our and, thing. Don't leave it to the ref. They were going exactly. to try to make it win because of Brady Day anyway. we I already had that thought in my head. Like, all exactly. right, make it look a little cute. You know what I mean? It's in Foxborough. But, so, you know. um, yeah, it, at the end of the day, like you said, we're starting off. We got the win. A win is a win. Uh, and it, uh, it's always sweeter ruining anything with the Patriots. So now I just need them to do what they talk about. They did a lot of I, – I, they do a good job. They don't do hard knocks, but they put out a lot of clips, and Nick was talking real hard. Nick was talking real perfection. You better not. And then I said, and then you ain't going to have no dinner tonight. Oh, bitch. Uh, it didn't translate. He I acted heard, like heard, that damn that damn <laughs> Jonathan Gannon video trying yeah. to hype people. That's how <laughs> it came yeah. out. <laughs> oh, God. Pew, 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 pew. Shots were killers. Did you yeah. ride the bus here? Did you get the bus here? <laughs> uh, dumbest dude in America. But, yes, at, at the same time, he was so ultra-aggressive that people wrote about it and brought it up more because, you know, he's like – well, we're going to be the hunted. It's a new season. We got a blah, blah, blah. I want perfection. Like, I'm I'm getting everybody's ass. Okay, well, get in your own ass because, like you said, too, and I said, you're on the sidelines watching the game. Bro, I'm at home. I ain't got no ticket. I ain't a Fox, bro. How did you not see that you did not get swift into the game? If your only job is not play calling and you're focused on the overall game, what are you even doing, bro? I don't even know what he does at that point. Are you just a cheerleader? Because if so, go be Dan Campbell and tell me to bite off kneecaps and shut the fuck up and get out of the way. Because as the head coach, you should say, 
Why in the hell is Swift not had a carry? Why are we riding up, lining up in five wide, no back, zero protection, That's plays why. over and over and over again? Jalen's running for his life out here in sloppy weather. Like, normally what they do with Steichen, they, you know what they were doing. Yes, uh, four wide receivers and a running back. But they had the, the, the three wide receiver bunches on the right or on the left and the tight end on the side, and they kept the running back swinging through for protection. This was just line out five wide. Like, bitch, we, this is not the greatest show on turf. What are we doing? What yeah. are we doing? The thing with Nick and that is me, I mean, I'm sure they have some etiquette with, with these reporters, but sometimes you got to come hard. And me, not as a reporter and just as a fan, I'd be like, hey, motherfucker, don't bullshit me, bro. Don't bullshit me. I, we, we seen it. We seen it. So obviously you knew about it. Obviously you knew what was going on that, that this guy didn't even get no runs or certain things. You, at the end of the day, I'm not going to even look towards them. I'm looking to, I, I want to even talk to the side or, or, or damn uh, Johnson. I want to look at you, man. Like, yep. yo, what are you doing? You the freaking man. You see it. Matter of fact, you ain't calling plays. So obviously you have the ability to look over everything, which is great. You you got smart people around you to do certain things, but what is it when you're the man in charge? Is your freaking vision? So you give them the vision, and they plot that with what the hell they doing because you are the freaking head coach. Don't come out here bullshitting. You already know what time it is with Philadelphia, man. You already know what time it is, and and, and shit. I had to sit here. You know, not that every game's gonna be what uh, uh great. I get it. I, I like I said, I'm glad getting it through. It was a Bill Belichick team, but. You talking about you had the 49ers do this, you had the Dallas Cowboys do this. Everybody talk about damn the Giants is shit. But I can't sit here and be like, feel anything good about my Eagles, but I'm not even I'm not even worried about the personnel. My thing was, yo, what what is it with these play calling on both sides of the freaking ball? Put these young men in position to make plays. I, I'm sure they want to make shit happen. And that's the thing that I didn't see was damn coaching. The coaching just seemed like it, it just seemed like the players was out there and doing like, you know, when we go play at the park and shit, like, hey, you go do this, you go do this. All they, right, they, see, they see, they see, that's why I said they seem shook. They, they, they seem like the Bill Belichick mystique had them in their feelings. Because again, if you're the head coach and your job is to oversee, how do you not oversee? Yo, bro, we've been playing three quarters. God, it ain't caught a ball. God, it ain't had a target. What the fuck is going on? Swift ain't had a rush attempt. Oh, look at this dude destroyed us week one last year. How does that not burn into your brain? I got that guy now. I got a guy that, okay, and Gainwell did great in the first half. I don't know why they stopped running it at all. Again, that's another thing. Yeah, it yeah, seems yeah, like yeah, there you go. Nick Sirianni mindset. That. When That's what I said. It, was like, it seemed like a Nick thing. Because remember when he first was calling plays? It was run, 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 run. Pass, 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 pass. Oh, Never yeah. mix up anything. A lot of three and outs. The most three and outs in, in Eagles-like history yesterday. What I, was going on? Before the game, I said to my I said to my homie, I said, man, I only see the Eagles punting most three times. That's mm. the, that's was the minimum that I was giving them. And all of their punts, like, look, man, the runs from the beginning, especially with the with the way the rain was coming down. <clears throat> was working beautifully. <clears throat> I like the runs because off the strength, <clears throat> you get our offensive linemen beating down their defensive line. But then it got to the point, you want to start doing these passes, but the passes that we were doing was like, what the fuck? You might as well have ran the ball with the passes we were doing. Now, mind you, I guess Jalen Hurst, one of his worst games, I, don't, I didn't see too much bad with Jalen Hurst. I just seen... For some reason, it just seemed like he was he was rusty and he was out, out of focus. I usually like looking at the eyes because the eyes tell a lot. And it seemed like, I don't know, for whatever reason, slightly out of focus or what people because were talking about. Because I got about. a dude coming off the naked end on me three times in a row. And again, just like any any human being, and I'm not saying he was scared, but it, it makes you more aware 
which when you're trying to be aware of that free man that might be coming, it takes your focus off of the Dallas Goddard wide over the top. You're like, well, I know I got AJ down there somewhere. Let me get to AJ because he was bringing so much pressure from both sides and making him roll out to his non-dominant side. So what you were seeing is what he was feeling because of a, a coach that was pressuring him, which is again, why I say we both said like everybody. No, I'm glad it. you said that, but you see the pressure that they were doing. I noticed it every time it was third and something, it was like obvious, like that front damn eight, six guys, seven guys, whatever they were putting was going to rush that many and then leave it to. And he kind of did that every freaking time. Yes. You telling me we only did that. What? Near the end. What? We started yeah. throwing when? And three and three times. And that's when you get the stops. I'm like, again, like I, 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 I we've gotten to the point in the city where I hate even bringing it up. Because I even got my boys like, that's not how the NFL is played anymore. I was like, again, bro, I'm not asking for all outs every time. But if you don't mix up the pressure and the coverage, you better have an elite secondary. And guess what? We lost a lot of people in secondary. Now, that's the other thing I want to say about the defense. No, hold, that, hold that thought. Hold that thought yeah. right there. The, the thing you said about the blitz, just understand it, all of this is psychological because it, it comes with some uh, like when – Jonathan Gannon, whatever, try to say certain shit to make it seem like the fans or, or whoever don't know nothing about football. No, we ain't trying to put it out like we just trying to say blitz, blitz, blitz. And I know there's some people who say that. No, we ain't trying to do like it got to be all like Buddy Ryan and everything. But what we're talking about is that I see this situation of football. If certain shit ain't working and you getting your ass slice, 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 but you don't blitz once, you got to do something different. What are you going to freaking do? Huh? You got to rattle somebody. You got to do it. But the thing is, when you blitz, people think like, oh, it's an all out blitz, zero blitz or whatever. No, we ain't talking about none of that. We talking about, yo, scheme the shit up so the quarterback is don't see it and thinks twice or throw his timing off or whatever the situation is. That's all we freaking asking. And obviously, from what we seen yesterday, it works. Do good blitzes with with the front that we have and somebody is going to get freaking loose, man. Like, come on, man. They can't be bullshitting me. But people try to make it seem that way. It's just psychological, bro. Fuck Yeah. Me. And and again, I, I I appreciate the resilience of the team and getting a win. I'm thankful for Jake Elliott, Mr. Tripod himself. The third leg is strong with that guy. I believe in him. Uh, like you said, yeah. two feet out, he can't do it sometimes. But <laughs> from 95 <laughs> out, he'll, he'll, he'll hit you. And uh, the, the fact that they had this bad game, I'll be honest with you, you know, because – Let's talk some radio talk real quick. That and could be positive Joe. right there, too. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, the yeah. The fact that they had this bad game, but get it out the way. With some yeah, shit right so, and, and so for the Joe Gillios and, and the TKs and the Jack Fritz, it's like, a loss will help us grow the season, learn and grow. Well, ass whooping like this with a win will also help you because, again, you got to back it up with all this talk. I know he's going to be cussing them the fuck out all the way home on that flight. I know when they watch a film, he's going to be like, what were you doing? Where were you at? What did you see? What's going on? It gives you something to correct. Because when you go 9-0 and last year, it's hard for people to understand and listen to you and say, bitch, we just blew them out. Why are you getting on me about one missed assignment? Now, nah, when, lo- when you win like this, everybody got a list of stuff to check off, and you better get to doing it, and you better get to going. Even the coaches. The coaches got to look themselves in the mirror and cuss themselves out and be like, look, bro, you yep. can't call seven passes in a row and not have somebody get hit the tight end. You paid him a lot of money. I believe he's one of the top five tight ends in football. Yes. And for him to not catch a ball, I don't want to hear it. Too, too okay? big of a target, too, even if somebody was was on him. He's too big of a target. You know and what he mean? catches the ball. He yaks the ball. He blocks. I mean, he has been he was blocking his ass off all day yesterday. Reward that man with a pass for going down the field 45 hey. yards wide open three times and you not hitting him. G- get what? him one of the dinking dunks to get him going. It's supposed to have happened yesterday, too. Even with all that, you know how, like, our defense, we, we cause fumbles, interceptions. We uh, scored a touchdown off an of interception. We were up 16-0. The thing that was all in my head was, like, I know the coach, they're going to keep choking these mugs out. Why? Because understand this, we got a quick turnaround to play Thursday. Let's bust some ass and sit some of these cats. But no, you want to, you want to, th- that was a bad thing. You want to make this shit tough. Now we toughen it out at the end of the day against Bill Belichick. Come that should have been the mindset. 
So um, I'm gonna start wrapping it up here because we've been yapping. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna chop it up all through the season now. Yeah, I mean we got we got linked up, we're synced in. Uh, I appreciate your aggression and mindset because that's what football is. And, I, and I'm watching a lot of baseball lately, and baseball is a beautiful sport. But baseball is like one of those things you can't do it on your own. Football, you could go out there and make that hit. You could go out there and, and make yourself be felt. You could go out there and run that ball and say, you know what, I'm stiff arming everybody. You know what I mean? You could say, hey, if I get this screen over the over the middle, I mean not screen, if I get this slant over the middle, I'm getting yak. You could you could put your will on a team. You could put the enforcement in football. So you gotta be physical. You gotta give up the body. You gotta focus and do the things that you're used to doing that makes you Philadelphia football, and we got to do those things. So, I, I tell you this, man. I take grit, man. I tell you this, man. My, 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 my aggressiveness, and 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 mindset or ways of violence. You know, um, sometimes people people would take things the wrong way. Let me tell you something, man. I'm just going off of just straight freaking life. I'm just going off when I say things. My things. Ain't off of yo. I'm just an irrational fan or whatever. My thing's about life. My thing is because I see more. I believe in certain. I believe in these cats. I believe in what they could do. And when and and just like in the song or or when I say violence gets results. Let's be clear, man. We when uh, when I say nobody loves the warrior until the warrior is needed. What the hell this country was made off, man? Huh? Just like I've been in combat. We understand what what this is about. So go, putting that on football, hey, football is a violent sport. Yeah, they 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 watered it down a little bit at the end of the day for more offensive plays and touchdowns, but it's a violent sport. And when you're violent, what does it do? It gets freaking results. And, and that's how all the coaches and them want these guys to play. You need to get on their ass. It's just like your kids, man. Yo, we ain't damn handing out uh, – any time, damn trophy. Oh, damn. Y'all, y'all won here. Y'all get a trophy because y'all uh, beat Bill Belichick and it was a close game. No, we ain't handed down no shit like that. Get that shit out of here and throw that shit in the fucking trash, man. You got to push every freaking time. And that's why I do it. That's why I say certain things. And you know what? If it's if it's because of my videos, a lot of times I don't feel like doing certain things all the freaking time. But I do the shit because it helps me as well. And if I just help one freaking person... That's all that freaking matters. So at the same time, I put it out there just in case any of these damn football players or whatever they hear it, they know like, man, this guy is real, just straight up want to say whatever to the point of understanding like, yo, yes, I could push more. Did you give up the body? You know, if you left that game, you know, if you had some regrets that you could have did more or not, man, you know what I mean? It's about yep. real life shit. I'm not about to pussyfoot or play slap and tickle. No, nah, it ain't about that shit, bro. So, um, lastly, uh, I'm going to have uh, links in the um, video. And most of the people that listen or watch this or listen on audio. So I'm going to link up Rios' uh, Twitter, his Instagram, so you can watch uh, 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 Unfuck Yourself Fridays and, and get into the Sucker Free Zone and uh, follow my man. And uh, also, I'd be remiss if uh, we didn't bring up today's 9-11. I'd like to say I appreciate you for your 20 years of service. And uh, never forget, because we're not forgetting, but also uh, enjoy your day and enjoy your life and enjoy the sacrifices that have been given up for us as Americans to do what we do and watch and talk about a game that we love. And, uh, again, I appreciate you for your service. I also appreciate you for your time, brother. We will keep it going all throughout the season, off and on, and chop Thank it up, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for that, brother. You know what I mean? You know, always, always looking out. And, you know, today is the day, but – you know, we moving on forward. It's just people don't forget, but always remember, don't don't take nothing for fucking granted. Cause nope. there's things that are more important. I'm a lucky one. I'm fucking here. You know what I mean? Yep. In a lot of ways, that don't feel good because I still question why. Why am I here? And why my guys ain't? But I'm a lucky one. So, you know, I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna talk, enjoy myself. You know what time it is. Go birds. Yep. Push it forward for them. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Roger that.